Hello, I'm Mershit Sinaki, a physician at Mayo Clinic and professor of physical medicine and rehabilitation at the Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine. And I have a Master of Science degree from the University of Minnesota in bone and muscle physiology as related to my thesis. Today I'm talking about an article that will appear in March 2019 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings under the title of Soft Tissue and Bony Injuries Attributed to the Practice of Yoga, a Biomechanical Analysis of Implications for Management. Yoga has many potential benefits, but uh, care must be taken when performing positions that can place extreme strain on spinal flexion and extension, especially in patients with osteopenia or osteoporosis, who may have a higher risk of compression fractures or deformities and would benefit from avoiding extreme spinal flexion. Physicians who advocate yoga exercises should consider the risks when discussing yoga as a potential exercise routine. This report describes the largest case series of medically documented yoga-related injuries to date. Yoga potentially has many health benefits such as improving flexibility, balance, and the strength. But these benefits are not without risk as evidenced by this case series. Many injuries can still occur even in long-term yoga practitioners. Care must be taken particularly when performing positions with extreme spinal flexion and extension. Patients with osteopenia or osteoporosis may have a higher risk of compression fractures or deformities. As yoga gains popularity, the prevalence of yoga-related injuries is also expected to increase. Physicians are encouraged to discuss such risks with their patients when asked about the safety of yoga and appropriate exercise programs should be recommended at that time on a case-by-case -case basis and on the basis of musculoskeletal health of an individual. We evaluate individuals who have any musculoskeletal pain before recommending an exercise program. We also need to consider the individual's interest in different exercises and the status of cardiovascular health, as well as their bone and musculoskeletal structures. As a person's body changes over time, we need to modify the exercise as well to protect the spine and joints during the yoga practice of poses through clinical evaluation before an exercise regimen that could be a strenuous one is recommended. This includes strains over the shoulders, hips, and other musculoskeletal structures. We also share a figure in this article depicting different poses of yoga that could strain the shoulders, hips, and spine. For example, let us evaluate the flexion of the spine as it is the one most rated in this figure. We look forward to studying other exercises that could place too much strain on the joints and axial skeleton, especially in patients who have osteopenia and osteoporosis. Thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoy reading the article and that you find it useful when counseling your patients on safe exercise regimens. Thank you again for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. 
Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.